everybody and welcome back to Collect Jurassic. So you are joining me, Tom, here on the YouTube channel today for another uh, Safari Friday feature. And today we are looking at the most exciting dinosaur which Safari sent our way. This is the largest 2019 figure that they sent us and it is the quadruped variant of the Spinosaurus. So obviously Spinosaurus will be very popular with all of you Jurassic Park fans. Uh, the Spinosaur we see in Jurassic Park 3 is bipedal, but here, um, after recent science which suggested that perhaps this creature was in fact a quadruped, we get a version that not only has more of the um, quadrupedal format to it, but it is also represented here in a swimming posture because obviously this dinosaur is uh, known to obviously be a spinosaurid, which means it would have had a amphibian type environment, so swamps, lakes, rivers, all those kinds of locations. Um, so the safari figure here has got a light tan base coat with kind of a sunburn orange over the top and then black patterning throughout. This looks really, really nice. Um, I especially like the striping down the legs, the arms and the tail. It almost feels like black tiger stripes, which looks really, really cool on this one. Um, and I also really, really like how the black pattern then fades up into the head, where we have got a lot of nice detailing, nice texture work. You know, those um, almost crimson-esque crest, which is in the middle of the Spinosaurus's skull. We've got very, very sharp teeth. Um, that nice angular jaw, which you would expect from, um, you know, a Spinosaurid. We have got a very, very vibrant pink tongue. And um, what I like here is on the tongue, you can actually see a lot of textured details, which really, really does um, communicate taste buds, I would say. So that looks really, really cool. Um, now, moving throughout the figure, and especially in the tail, you have got this very incredible... Um, reptilian texture going on with the figure here. So obviously, as we've said in our other two reviews, the Allosaurus and the Stegosaurus, um, Safari really, really do capture texture well. And here this is just one example of a figure where they have gone above and beyond to really, really communicate some of the fantastic texture um, that this creature would have had. Um, when you look at it, particularly the tail, um, it, it feels lifelike, like this tail in particular makes me think of the kind of texture you get on a rattlesnake, you know, it looks very, very close to it, uh, it communicates it really, really well. So I think that the sculpt here really, really is incredible, and it has an incredibly intricate amount of detail to it, which really, really does benefit this figure overall. Now the sail itself is quite thin, uh, which you would expect for the Spinosaur, but it's not like delicate, it's still very firm, very solid, um, and very, very well sculpted. Uh, I really, really like all of the grooves in the figure. It, again, you know, in the sail as well, um, they look fantastic. And I like how the pattern continues to the top of the sail where there's then a black outline. All of that looks phenomenal. Um, we do also have black claws on this figure especially on the fingers, they're more noticeable, but also on the feet, and the feet have got a really nice detail here as well. They are actually webbed to reflect the fact that this is obviously a creature which lived um, predominantly within water-based environments. So that absolutely looks spot on. Now, as I say, this figure is very, very unique. It is uh, stuck in a swimming pose. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit of an interesting one if you've got some kind of natural display going on, because uh, obviously this doesn't really fit in with a lot of the walking dinosaurs. But I think that it's a really, really unique take on the Spinosaurus. You know, it's really, really hard to um, do things differently. When you're doing dinosaurs, you kind of get one and done. So being creative with this one and kind of finding a new way to explore it uh, was a really, really good idea on Safari's behalf. And I think that overall the figure has come out looking great. So guys, that has been your look at the Safari 2019 uh, Spinosaurus. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. 
As always, stay tuned here on Collect Jurassic for lots more great dinosaur content. And as always, guys, I hope you have a great week. Thank you.